check, one, two, yeah. Oh, check, one, two. All right, all right, all right. That sounds good. You good out there? Yeah. All right, brother. Thank you. Check it, one, two, one, two, 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 one, two. If I could just get a touch more here, that'd be swell. Check one, two, that's great, thank you. Awesome. Check, 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 one, two. Hello. Check, check, there we go. Swiss chocolate. Check, one, two. It sounds good over here. Mike, Mike Nichols. Thank you. Yeah. What do you got there? Yeah. All right. You're going to get that. Check, check. Come on. What do you got? Thank you. 
Good evening. Happy New Year, everybody. This is our first Blues Bash of 2023. And this is our big Back to Memphis show because we're sending the two acts that won the competition to Memphis for the International Blues Challenge. And so that's why we're going to bug you to death to go over to the silent auction, buy something, We've got the Nick Vigorino Memorial Guitar Case up here. Nick's not dead, but the case is. Uh, that you put to put tips in there. You've got your little jars on your table. You can put tips in there, and you can also add a tip to your check, uh, and uh, Bar will get that to us because 100% of the tips go to sending these bands to Memphis. Unlike a lot of blues societies, we send our contestants, our musicians. We don't say, ah, go show up. We actually send them because we love them, and that's what we do. <laughs> and I'm going to turn over right now and let our illustrious vice president, Mr. Rick Bowen, say a few words. Hey, happy frickin' New Year. We made it. These guys are going to Memphis in two weeks, representing... Everybody, Washington, <laughs> Oregon, Montana, Idaho, British Columbia, and Alberta. Whoa. That's the, those are the states and, uh, and groups that are open to our blues challenge. We have sent a, gr a duo, if you remember, two, year two years ago, three years ago. Sheesh, COVID brain. 2020, we sent Blue Moon Marquee to Memphis from Victoria Island. Today, it was announced Blues Music Awards, they're up for Best New Artist. Direct result of them going to Memphis and kicking ass. And you all helped us send them there to do that, and now they're up for national awards. That's what happens to people when they go to Memphis for the Blues Challenge. Great things can happen to them. Thanks so much for helping us, supporting this. Uh, I'm going to Memphis for the seventh time. It's going to be good times. Um, over there, we're scurrying around, putting together the last remnants of our silent auction to help raise some more of these funds. Airline tickets and hotel went up a little bit this year, and we're a little short. So if you uh, check it out over there and feel like you want to pick up a nice piece of art, some Mariner swag, some Rolling Stones swag that's over there. We'll be giving one of those away and doing our regular giveaway in the in the middle. And then we ha and also over there we have ten brand new autographed by the maestro himself, Lee Oscar Harmonicus, donated to help this man go there unplayed in Memphis. Yeah. I don't know if you know that Lee Oscar Harmonicas and Lee lives here in Everett, Washington. 
and uh, Andrew Cloutier is the drummer in Lee Oscar's band. So Lee graciously donated those 10 harmonicas. If we don't sell them tonight, $50 a piece, minimum bid, you'll see them again. But super, uh, have to do that shout out to Lee uh, for donating those items. So come on over and check that out. We will be doing the raffle in later with some Jazz Ellie tickets and some CD giveaways. So are you guys ready? Yeah, sure. This is a little Memphis preview for you. Ladies and gentlemen, Lonesome. Steve and Michael, Lonesome Pine. <laughs> Thanks, Rick. All right. Thank you, everybody, for coming out. It means a lot, for sure, to see the support and everything. This first song is an old song. I first heard, heard it by a, a player named Blind Blake. It's from Atlanta. The song's called the CC Pill Blues. Hey, hey, now, baby, what you want me to do? Oh, hey, now, my mind, what you want you to do?
Thank you very much. We've been uh, working on, trying to work on our set here and there when we're not sick over the winter. <laughs> um, and we're pretty excited about what we're coming up with. We're still a work in progress, but it's feeling good. This next song is an original tune of mine called Hard Time. If you're struggling just to make ends meet And you ain't got no skill at grace Just some hard times coming on You're driving along and your engine breaks And now you're staying out on some highway Just some hard times coming on This next song is another uh, original tune. I played this one at the competition, and uh, I really like it. It's, it's about an old lady friend of mine. The one that got away, if you will. It's called Eyes Like Diamonds. Crying shame. I said, Oh Lord, ain't it a crying? 
cry in shame Cause I'm in love with a woman and I'm scared to call her name Now she little and low, she built up from the ground Yeah, she little and low, she built up from Got a face like an angel, make a preacher lay his Bible down. She got eyes like diamonds, they shine just like the sun. She got eyes like diamonds, they shine just like the sun. Oh Lord, she gives me the shivers when she tells me I'm the only one. Thank you so much. So I just want to give you guys a little idea about our, our name. We, 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 we went by Slide and Delta before, and we, we never really felt like it was the thing. So we changed the name because uh, this, this man here has been known for many years as uh, Mr. Lonesome Mike, Lonesome Harmonica Mike. Is that correct? And I'm, uh, I go by Pine. Because I like, you know, I like a nice soft wood, you know? <laughs> so we're lonesome in pine. All right. <laughs> so this is, uh, this next song is uh, Build a Fire. It's a, um, it's another original tune of mine. <clears throat> I was listening to a lot of, a lot of ragtime music. Um just a lot of crazy finger style guitar and I wanted to come up with something fun. So this one's called Build a Fire. Hold on. What key am I in? C. I was almost in the wrong key on your mic. Thank you. Don't you know Life's so short, baby. World it's yours to see you won't see. Don't you say while I was away, baby, you got so blue that she found somebody new. Will take me back and I'll be good. I know that I hurt you, baby. If you let me make it up to you, I'll touch your water. Leave and cut your wood if I could. So I want is to build a fire with you. So tell me, baby, what I can do. For comfort, no for 
your speed, baby, built just for you. What more could you need? Don't you run, I say. Don't you hide my arms. I'm going to follow you till the day I die. Yeah, well, go take me back, and I'll be good. I know that I hurt you, baby. If you let me make it up to you, I'll touch your water. Leave and cut your wood if I could. Cause all I want is to build a fire with you. So tell me, baby, what I can do. I'll be good, yeah, take me back. I know that I hurt you, baby, but if you let me make it up to you, I'll touch your water, leave and cut your wood if I could. Cause all I want is to build the fire with you. Oh, tell me, baby, what I can do. <laughs> Thank you. So I'm just going to tune my guitar real quick. Hold on one second. Uh, so me and Mike live on a little island. I'm sure you guys have heard of it. Not too far from here, Vashon Island. And uh, it's pretty nice over there. Get to hang out a lot by the fire. Get pretty campy. Play a lot of this country blues music that, that we love so much. This next one is a <coughs> tune by a man called Blind Boy Fuller. And it was a pretty classic tune back in the 1930s. Uh, everybody really, I think, played it. It's called Step It Up and Go. Step it up and go. Near the front door, sure, baby, back door too. Blind go down there. What you gonna do? You better step it up and go. Yeah, man. See the cash in pad, I swear, I'll step it up and go. Step it up and go. Oh, I got a little girl, her name is Ball. If I give a little inch, you don't take it all. You better step it up and go. See, the can't seem paid, I swear, you got to step it up and go. at the time? How much time do we have left? I'm sorry. We good? As much as we want? All right. 
All right, let's play. Uh, you want to do Depot Blues? I forgot to write that one in. That's an that's an easy one. to Mike Nichols, ladies and gentlemen. Bye. 
Thank you. What's that? Okay. So what do you think? Think you'll do good in Memphis? Oh, thanks so much. We have, we have a, a string of luck with our uh, acts in Memphis. They usually do really good and go to the semifinals and do us proud. And we're proud to be sending them up there. So we're going to have them do another song or two for you. This is Lonesome in Pine. Give it up for them. Yeah. Don't forget, they're Thank playing you. this for free. They don't get paid for this. So put some money in the case there. Yeah, Because we got to send these boys to Memphis in two weeks. Yeah, sorry, I was just tuning in here when I, yeah, when I got here. Talk to him a little bit, Mikey. I promise not to say anything through this whole show, but he said, talk him up, Mikey. <laughs> While he's thank tuning. You, thank you. Hey, what a great venue, you know. We live in a really small town. We're about a mile up, apart from each other, and it's a really small town. There's uh, very little postal service lately, and... Uh, very little ferry traffic lately, and price of groceries is pretty high, and gasoline's $18 a gallon. Other than that, you know, it's a great <laughs> place to live, you know? It's very charming. All right. <laughs> Somebody tell me where I'm going when I die. When I die, how will I be free? Somebody tell me where I'm going when I die. Oh, I hope to see your face, baby, when it's time. When it's time, oh, your sweet face. Yeah, I hope to see your face, baby, when it's time. If I decide to come back home, baby, one sweet day, one sweet day, what would it be the same? If I decide to come back home, baby, one sweet day. Tell me where I'm going when I die When I die Will I be free? Somebody tell me where I'm going when I die Somebody tell me where I'm going when I die Yeah, thank you. Lost my father-in-law this this year, and that soon kind of came came along with it. Uh, 
I lost my dog this year, yeah. too. Dang it. I know. Thank you. That's what he sounded like. <laughs> All right. Yeah, let Talk him up a little. All right, right talk him up a little. <laughs> All right, that's not my thing, but he lives in Lander's Corner, and I live in Frog Holler. Now, is that some cool names for some places <laughs> on Vashon Island? You're much better than, at it than I, I am, man. By the way, Steve writes all these songs, folks, for the most part, 85% of them. Yeah, thank you. It's not an easy task. I just kind of flop around on the Mississippi saxophone tin sandwich a little bit, <laughs> <laughs> as you can tell. All right. We're going to play one more song, and then we're going to get Mr. Eric Main up here in band here. Thank you guys all very much for coming out and supporting. Once again, means a lot.
Thank you very much. We're Lonesome and Pine, ladies and gentlemen. Up next, Eric Main. Uh, give it up for Lonesome and Pine. Come on. Did a great job. They're going to honor us well in Memphis. If you haven't got one of our giveaway tickets, one of our white giveaway tickets tonight, Carrie's running around with them giving them out. So just raise your hand if you didn't get one, and Carrie will find you. Keep your hand up till she finds you. And there you go, my darling. Grazie, bueno, grazie. So the other fun thing, a little bit of business, actual Washington Blue Society business tonight. Tonight is the night, the last Day, the deadline at midnight tonight to submit your nominations for the 2023 Best of the Blues Awards. Yeah. You might uh, be nominating Best New Group and Nest Solo Duo right in front of me, Lonesome Pine. I don't know. That'd be a good pick. If you brought a ballot, uh, Jeannie Whoopie Kitty will be collecting is collecting those. Where did where did Whoopi Kitty go? Oh, she's waving her hand. Not ever. So if you have a ballot, uh, if not, you still have time to go to wildblues.org. Look at that. We, we could just sit. I think we're just going to sit. Ah, good God. So much work. How was everybody's Christmas? Was it lovely? Did you love all that ice and snow? We missed everybody for the Christmas party, and I swear we'll make it up to you. The, the Best of the Blues Awards is going to be at the Shriners Nile Ballroom on Lake Ballinger. A banquet dinner and awards presentation uh, tentatively scheduled for the last Sunday in April. Uh, so be on the lookout for ticket details, etc. Once we tally up the nominations, we'll put out a whole big swag uh, explosion and get all the info and set up that show. It's always a cavalcade of stars for the Best of the Blues Awards, hence the Best of the Blues. So I have two, a couple of things that I'm going to give away, and, um, and then Bear will give away the, the funky CDs. We always thank... Uh, Blind Raccoon and Mark Pucci and Frank Rosnick for sending in sample CDs. Do we have a do we have a EMC CD to give away? At least one. Okay, eventually. He's got these t-shirts. Look at these. Look at this. I'm modeling the t-shirt live on camera. If you need one of these, they're pretty cool. They're right over there. Eric's main connection. Kind of looks like the Einstein thing, doesn't it? The blues relativity. I, there is a story about main connection. Uh, I think I'm going to let Eric tell it, though. I love the story about those guys. Uh, we'll tell it later. So, Carrie, did you get a chance to get everybody a ticket? She's looking around. She's looking. Wave if you didn't get a white ticket. Yes. We really, we want everyone to be included. No one's discluded. So the first prize is always the uh, fun thing. We are still uh, very pleased to be partners uh, with Jazz Alley, who is bringing us more and more great shows. They had a uh, switcheroo on their calendar that happened, and this is a -a one-of-a-kind show that's coming to Jazz Alley January 19th, which is next Thursday, right? Next Thursday. Sure, she says. Next Thursday. Check your calendars. Can you attend downtown Seattle, 5th Ave, 7.30 p.m., Coco Montoya 
and Ronnie Baker Brooks joining forces for a special celebration of Albert Collins. If you don't know who the Iceman Albert Collins was, then you don't know the blues. Anybody ever see the movie in the 80s, Adventures in Babysitting? Adventures in Babysitting, remember that with Christine Uppergate? And the kids ran into the blues bar, and there was that dangerous-looking black man with the Telecaster, and he said, ain't nobody getting out of here without playing the blues. That was the real deal, Albert Collins. He was a terrific performer. Uh, I know people who played with him and toured with him. He was also a gentleman and an ambassador of the blues. Uh, so they're going to celebrate the legacy of Albert Collins with this special set of, set of shows. There's, they're not doing a tour. They're just coming to Seattle to play these four shows. That, and then, boom, they're gone. So let's draw a number, and somebody gets to go to opening night, January 19th. The lovely Wendy Rice. Let's hear it for Wendy. Double shout out. Eric, Scotty, and Andrew would not frickin' be going to Memphis if it wasn't for Wendy. It's true, it's true. Behind every musician, there's an amazing woman and a, and a totally astounded mother-in-law. It's true. I got one. I got two, actually. I got three or four on those. Yeah. Because you know what a, a musician without a girlfriend or wife is, right? One, two, three. Homeless. Homeless. How do you get that guitar player off your front porch? Pay for the pizza. And you know what the difference between that pizza and that guitar player is? A pizza will feed a family of four. Oh, I know, I know. This guitar player jokes. You can put in anybody you want. I know, you know what happened to the you know what happened to the guitar player locked his keys in the car. It took him two hours to get the drummer out. All right. Check your calendars. Who's gonna go? January nineteenth, Jazz Alley, six seven four five two nine eight. Five two nine eight. He can go? Can you go? Can you go? All right. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. Okay. I'll get hang on to that and I'll come see you and get your info. Uh, woo! I'll be right over. That's gonna be fun. I'll be there. I think one of us is gonna MC. This is a fun little swag bag. Rolling Stones t-shirt, Rolling Stones beer koozie, or two. You know how cool the Rolling Stones are? They have their own hand sanitizer. All right. I'm not sure about that, though. I would think that's on the drinking list for Keith Richards, but it could be, it could be a shot and a silk. And a silk uh, kerchief, scarf, I don't know. It's lovely. Yeah, it's a swag bag. We got these donated to the Blue Society from, I, I, I'm obligated to say this out loud. Uh, from Alliance for Life Income gave us uh, a box full of these to, to give away to everybody. And I'm giving this one away, and the rest of them are for sale for 20 bucks. There's six of them over there, and if somebody wants one, go buy one. 5308. 5308. 5308. Your, your pizza's ready. 
Going once. Five, three, zero, eight. Going twice. Three times. No, it doesn't go back in the bucket. Gone. Five, two, eight, nine. Are these mystery people who have already left the building? Five, two, eight, nine. Oh, oh did you two not get a ticket yet? Oh, my goodness. Carrie! Five, two, eight, nine. I'm tempted. Five, two, eight, nine going once. No, that's Carrie. Yeah. What? What? Where? Who? Five two eight nine. Five two eight nine. Woo! All right. Enjoy some swag, Stonesy swag. All right, Bear, give away those CDs. I know it just turned into like the apocalypse now up here. Let's hear it for Tim, the sound guy. He's doing all these lights and sound and craziness. Take it away, Bear. Uh, here's what some of you came for is the free CDs. Don't forget to tip generously so we can send these guys to Memphis because plane fares are expensive and so are motel rooms. So, is everybody having fun? Everybody here have a CD player at home? Well, you should get one. If you're not a member of the Washington Blues Society, you should sign up. There you go. Rick's going to give some money. And he, we know he's broke. He's a drummer. All right. Our first CD of the night is The Best of Bob Marley. So, and it's ticket number 5274. Who's got 5274? Five, two, seven, four. Is this on? Hello, testing, testing. All oh, right. Karen is our lucky winner. And the next one is, oh, Terry Ann Wilson. Most of you know her. Terry used to be up here. Was with Red Hot Blues Sisters and played a couple of jams around town and all that. Was here for a long time. And the winning number for that is 5327. 5327. 5327. We have a winner. All right. We have any Melissa Etheridge fans here? Because we've got her The Awakening CD. And that goes to the lucky winner, 5294. 5294. Anyone here with that number, 5294? Come on, read faster, people. Going once, going twice, gone. <sighs> I don't know. Okay, we'll try it again. Five, three, one, nine, fifty, three, nineteen. Hey, Wendy's mom. Yes. If Wendy's responsible for Eric going to Memphis, and she's responsible for Wendy. <laughs> she said it's a very brave lady. Mm -hmm. we, we, we got Celine Dion. Courage. 5313-5313. Ticket number 5313. All right. Up by the bar. There we go.
getting foggy in here. Ah, we've got a Fat James Band CD. Everybody here remember Fat James? He did a, they did a marvelous live recording years ago that they just mastered and pressed this year. So this was one of our finalists for our best CD to go to Memphis. It didn't quite win, but it was up there close. And the lucky winner tonight is 5270. 5270. Peering through the fog, I don't see anybody raising their hand. Oh, there we go. Everett! Eric will rock out to that tonight. Next we'll see is Toss Grew Riffin' the Blues. And the lucky winner is 5305. 530505. Come on, yell if you got it. Make a noise, something. Send up a flare, smoke signal. Something, 5305. People complaining they don't get a ticket, then they get a ticket, they don't claim it. Oh, well, going once, going twice, gone. Give me another one, Wendy. Find somebody that's here. 5237, 5237. All right. And thank you for paying attention. Uh, Diane Blues All Star Band live at the Fallout Shelter. This is a good CD. They all are good, but this is really good. Five two six seven. Five two six seven. Come on. <sighs> we'll be here all night at this rate. Oh, there we go. In the back. In the overflow area, because we'd like to thank everybody for coming out tonight and filling this place up. We really appreciate it. Hopefully you had dinner here, too, because they have some really good food here. And we are the only night downstairs here that they serve a full menu. They don't even do this on the weekends. So, yeah. Oh, we've got another back on track. Terry Ann Wilson CD to give away. 5239. 5239. All right, right up there in front. A Journey of a Thousand Miles by Brian James and the Great Unknown. And that goes to the lucky winner, 5238. 5238. Oh, lucky table tonight. The Rusty Wright Band hanging at the DeVille Lounge. Sinners welcome. <laughs> I like that. My kind of place. Uh, that's a cool cover right there. 5282. 5282. That looks pretty good. I'd like to have that. <laughs> uh, Mississippi McDonald, HSLB. And the winner for this one is 5265. 5265. Ah, back there in the back. Is that Rob Baker? Yeah, it's just Rob Baker. Huh. Rob, as you know, is the bass player for the CD Woodbury Band and runs a really cool recording studio up in Everett. If you need anything recorded, go see Rob. He does a great job. Jewel Brown, thanks for good old music and memories. And the winner of this one is 5258. 5258. Somebody's making noise. There we go. Ah. 
And we're down to the last one. And this last one is some guy called Eric and his main connection. Who the hell is that? I don't know. I don't know. It's uh, it, it's 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 three guys that look sort of familiar. Uh, I think we might send their send them to Memphis this year because they're they're pretty good. Yes, and the CD went to Memphis, and the CD won from our group. So we send it to Memphis, and hopefully they'll win for that, and they'll be double winners because I think they've got a chance. What do you think? Okay, we'll ask you again after you hear them because I think you know that they're contenders for this. One of the strongest bands we've ever sent down there. 5330. 5330. 5330. Come on. Who wants it? I mean, everybody else has got to buy one tonight if you want one. 5330. Going once. Going twice. Gone. <laughs> Fifty three twenty eight. <clears throat> Fifty three twenty eight. They were probably at the same table out smoking dope in the parking lot, right? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Going once, going twice, too bad. Fifty two forty five two four zero. All right. Another lucky table. Well, that's our giveaways for this evening. Don't forget now, we have another Blues Bash in two weeks at CCR in Snohomish. We're now having two Blues Bashes a month. The second Tuesday is here. The fourth Tuesday is at CCR. And we're working on a location to have a third one. So come out, support live music. And so speaking of Eric's main connection, they're hiding here somewhere. Do you want to hear them? Make some noise so they'll get their ass on stage. Come on. Don't be shy. Tell me what to do. <laughs> get out here. You rascalian. <laughs> this is Eric, and the main connection are the two boys here, Andrew Cloutier and Scotty Harris. Both legends in the Seattle blues scene. World-renowned, infamous. You can find their pictures in post offices all across the country. <laughs> sure, come up and tell your story. I'm going to turn it over to our illustrious vice president, Mr. Rick Bowen. I love this story. I love these guys. If I wasn't happily married, there'd be a different thing going on up here. Sorry. Was that, a, was that out loud? Okay, so I'm in Portland, Maine. Hence Eric's Maine connection. You know how far it is from freaking Seattle to Portland, Maine? It's a long fucking way, is what that guy just said. Well, that's what they say in Portland. Eh, that's a long fucking way. You get it right, Portland. You, Portland. You get on I-90, and you go east, and you stop when you get to the water. That's what you do to get there. It's Christmas time. I'm in the Portland drum shop. It's 3,500 miles from here, 3,500 miles from here. Hey, how you doing? And welcome. Hey, what you doing? Can I help you? Yeah, I'm just here on vacation visiting family, and I uh, had to stop in and see your store. It's beautiful. Uh, love this. And he's like, where are you from? I, I'm here visiting from Seattle. He goes, yeah, sh yeah, sure, sure. Seattle. Yeah, yeah, of course. Of course you know Scotty Harris and Andrew Cloutier. <laughs> True story. 3,500 miles an hour, 3,500 miles from here, first thing out of the guy's mouth. Of course you know Andy Cloutier and Scotty here. Because they owe him money. <laughs> they owe him money. <laughs> you guys ready? Uh, Before you guys hit it, just make sure that everybody can hear the vocal mics and something I'm presenting to them. Cool. 
I should have each vocal and each monitor uh, set up. In so I was told that they, uh, they're going to give us all a preview of what they're going to do in Memphis. There's a pretty strong criteria for the International Blues Challenge, but we are Check. fortunate enough here in the Northwest. Check one, two. We've had two champions from Washington State, if you remember. In 2013, Check. the Wired Band. 2016, Ben and Joe <laughs> Siemens. Ben Hunter and Joe Siemens won. Pretty damn good. And that guy over there made it to the finals with the Sammy Eubanks experience. So he's got a little something in his back pocket. He's taken to Memphis. Ladies and gentlemen, Eric's main connection. Walking Sahara, morale straight ahead, hoping for water, soon I'll be dead. I'm getting close, I'm about to still far away. It turns out this ain't my day. Well, I'll run around in circles chasing a tail. I can't pull, didn't pull some water, but the way. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How's it going? Here's a little song about respect for the girls. She's loved and wanted and Tell her all the time So she hears what she said If it make her feel good and Tell her so Cause a girl needs to be told a girl needs to be told a girl needs to be told 
Thank you, thank you, thank you. So uh, we were stuck in lockdown for a little while. And while all that was going on, I was hanging around the house for a bit. And then we get a little tired of that. So Scotty and Andrew and I, not wanting to sit around on our butts, decided it was time to record another record. <laughs> so we got started on this one. It's called Stuck Inside, and this thing's a little song about a remodel on the old house. I got a pocket full of spending cash Out on the town for a big stash Gonna be here for a long, long time Gonna get a big bottle of wine well, I'm stuck inside this full wall Got rooms up and down the hall Gonna party in a mall Gonna have myself a ball Well, I'm stuck inside Margaritaville On a beach I got time to kill Turn my deck into a Tennessee shack Got my guitar and a bottle of Jack I'm stuck inside this four wall Got rooms up and down the hall Gonna party in a mall Gonna have myself a ball When I'm stuck inside this four wall
the dining room we got wine and steak then the sofa for a movie break turned my room into the mustang ranch was a wild night of love and romance i'm stuck inside this four wall got rooms up and down the hall gonna party in a mall gonna have myself a ball I'm stuck inside a spoil wall Got rooms up and down the hall Gonna party in a mall Gonna have myself a mall <laughs> One of the sad things about the past couple of years and growing old in general is sometimes you lose more friends than you make. And here's a song for all those people that aren't with us anymore. I got a bad feeling, baby That my friend's come and gone I got a bad feeling, baby That my friend's come and gone Seems as I grow older, few will come and many go. Stone clouds are rolling, baby, and the rain keeps knocking on my door. Storm clouds are rolling, baby The rain is knocking on my dome And so no one's there Lord, no, my good friend, or not so Where I go, I don't know. to talk with Tell my troubles when I'm blue Friends all up and left me What more can I do I got a I got a bad feeling baby I And my friends come and go Seems as I grow older, few will come and go.
Thank you, thank you. All right, everybody, we just want to tell you all that uh, we're very, very uh, honored and pleased to be representing this group of people, the Washington Blues Society down in Memphis. <laughs> Basically, it's fun just to go down there, but to go down there and be representing our state and our group of friends and family out here is a great honor for us, and we just really want to express how much we appreciate being chosen to go down there and how much we'll go down there and do our very best to... Uh, make our state look good, and uh, have a great time all at the same time. So thanks, everybody, for supporting us. And uh, thanks, Eric, for writing all these great songs. And me and Andrew have a nice history together, and we're very excited to be able to get down there and represent our state together. So thank you, guys. Scotty Harris on the bass guitar and Andrew Cloutier on the drums. The main connection, as you heard earlier today, Thanks for coming out. Here's another song we wrote. It's uh, every, every, every blues band's got to have one mean woman song, and God damn it, this is the one.
Sir. So uh, we wrote a, we, we just got done writing a song and we just got done recording it, got it uh, sent, sent over to our guy to uh, master it, Brandon Bush from Lee Oscar's camp. He's fantastic. Andrew and Scotty and I recorded it ourselves over at Andrew's place and in my house and so on. So uh, it's a song about my last trip to Memphis and uh, what I thought of the city. Called Blues Man's Wonderland. Check it out. Raining down in Memphis, ain't no sunshine on Bill. Raining down in Memphis. Ain't no sunshine on Bill. I love to play the blues. Here to make that deal. The music in the air tonight. People dancing in the rain. Music in the air tonight People dancing in the rain No worries on trouble Going wash away the pain Blues man's wonderland Guitar Make my stand City has its charm No other town can claim City has its charm No other town can claim Make your name. Listen, make it down to Memphis. You better bring your mojo hand. Make it down to Memphis. You better bring your mojo hand. Oh, and you should listen.
Yes, sir. Here's a little thing Scotty and I like to do every now and again. Oh, there we go. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. How about Scotty on that voice right there? He harmonizes quite nicely, he does. So here's an old Clarence Gatemouth Brown song. I've been listening to Clarence Gatemouth for years and years and years. Scotty, Scotty knows him pretty well. He used to come, come to Seattle and buy weed from him. He came to Maine and bought weed from me. Oh, Maine? Maine and bought? Oh, I thought it was here. <laughs> Wherever. Still cool. <laughs> and uh, I got to open for him uh, once, and he was 
a treat to meet that, that old boy. So anyways, here's this little thing. It's called She Walks Right In.
she walks, yeah, she walks. She walks, yeah, she walks. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Here's a little, uh, here's a little ditty about a very poor, unfortunate old man. could do one meatball one meatball he could afford but one meatball he told the waiter near at hand simple dinner he had planned guess we're startled one and This here gent wants one meatball. The little man, he felt at ease. Said some bread, sir, if you please. Waiter hollered down the hall. You get no bread with one meatball. One meatball. You get no bread with one
In his dreams he hears that call You get snow bread with one meatball One meatball Don't One meatball Well you get no bread with one meatball One meatball Well, all righty then. Let's do Call Sam. How about Call Sam? Here's another song off our new album. Uh, it can be heard on Spotify, iTunes, Amazon, uh, Pandora, blah, blah, blah. You can buy it on our website. You can buy it from us if you would like to take it home with you. <laughs> Keep forgetting about that. Our record was nominated for the blue, uh, for the uh, blues competition too. Does anybody know if it actually made it to the final five? Did it make it to the final five, Mr. Rick Bowen? I haven't heard yet. Maybe it will. That'd be cool. <laughs> anyway, here's a little song. We had Jesse Weston playing keyboards with us for a while, as, as some of you know, and uh, while he was doing that. It, it, we found it was increasingly increasingly difficult to get a hold of Jesse on the telephone. You'd call him, and he'd go to voicemail, and he never would get back to you. So we found out that the way to get a hold of Jesse was to call his wife. Yeah. So we wrote a song about the cute little Sam Weston, and it goes like this.
Work all day, then I gig at eight. Just don't always answer when my phone rings. I'm always busy doing other things. Where you want to find me, don't know where I am. Call Sam. Call Sam. She always knows. Call Sam. Day or night, call Sam. Anytime, call Sam. When you wanna find me, don't know where I am, call Sam. We'll call Sam. What do y'all think? One more, maybe? Sure is nice to be hanging out here with all you folks tonight. It's been a son of a bitch at work the past couple days, and y'all are making me feel good. I like that. Thank you. Okay. So, uh... Here's a here's a little song from a from a, from a Memphis boy. A little Chuck Berry thing we got coming up. Thank you, thank you. I think what Chuck meant when he wrote this song was, "Woman, get your ass home." <laughs> Give you 30 days to get back home. Call the gypsy woman on the telephone. Don't put out a world about who do that'll be the very thing that'll suit you. See you be back home in 30 days. Oh, 30 days. 30 days. Oh, 30 days. 30 days. Go see. Sheriff's office sign a warrant. Don't put a cross charge against you. The very thing that'll send you. See you be back home in 30 days. Oh, 30 days. 30 days. Well, 30 days. 30 days. Gonna see you be back home in 30 days. Gonna put out a worldwide hoodoo. That'll be the very thing that'll suit you.
Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, we'll do a um, terrifying boot. <laughs> You better come on in my kitchen. Gonna be some raining out, don't. Woman I'm in love with took to my best friend. Some joker got like it Stole her back again You better come on In my kitchen This little place on top of the hill Folks go part around a whiskey still They got a band rocking at night Gonna find a woman gonna treat me right It's a party, it's a whiskey stop It's a party, book it to your top It's a party, book it all night long Place is hopping, the girls are rocking. Drink sour man's from a shot old cake. Gave me a wink, I bought her a drink. She ran her hand to my leg. It's a party at the whiskey stop. Party, book it till you drive. Party, book it on our law. It's a party at the whiskey stop. It's a party, book it till you drive. It's a party, book it on our
If you want to go where the whiskey flow, I told you one time, won't hear no more. Girls are rocking, the place is jumping. Let's do the dirty boogie here on the flow. Party! It's a party at the whiskey stop. Party! Stop, it's a party, boogie till you drop, party! Andrew Cloutier on the bass, Scotty Harris <laughs> on the drums, and Scotty Harris on the bass. All right, that's Eric's main connection. Eric's main coming. connection. What do you think, folks? They've got CDs for sale. They got T-shirts for sale. You ought to own one or two. If you want them to do another one, make some noise, or they're gonna go home. Are you sure? Are you positive you want to hear him? All right. Take it away, Eric. Scotty was saying he wants to get sensitive. Y'all want to do that for a minute? <laughs> I'm a sensitive kind of guy. You are a sensitive kind of guy. <laughs> That's why I love you. Look up my window, won't you see passes by? Say to myself, I'm such a lucky guy. To have a girl like her is a dream come true. All the girls I've known She's the one that's true Just my imagination Won't again Running away with me Just my imagination Running away Running away with me First we'll be married Raise a family
Take a look at me and I will surely die When you see me walking down the street I hear a tender rhapsody But in reality she doesn't even know Just my imagination once again Running away with me Just my imagination Running away Drive safe home, everybody. Thank you very much. Eric's main connection. Andrew Cloutier, Scotty Harris, Eric Rice. Oh, my God. T-shirts, CDs. 20 bucks in the tip jar. You got one more or do you, you, you're done? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, here we go. Uh, there are, we have sold four Lee Oscar harmonicas. That means there's six of those left. There's a whole bunch of stuff over there. Please just go over there, put like a dollar down, and take that crap home. We have been dragging that crap around for like God knows how long. I'm going to take this 20 bucks and I'm going to go grab some stuff and start throwing it out at you people. Please take that crap home. Give it to somebody. Throw it in the street. I don't care. Put a dollar down and take something. There's zero bids on all the stuff over there. Just take something home for crying out loud. I'll buy We heard from you. our fearless leader, Tony Fredrickson, that... Um, one of his clients tonight gave birth to a bouncing baby refrigerator that was delivered a day early, and that's he gives his apologies for not being here. Thanks, everyone, for being here and showing up and supporting these cats to go to Memphis. <laughs> Brian's going. I'm going. I think Karen's going. Karen and, Karen and Everett are going. That's going to be cool. Boy, watch out, Memphis. <laughs> I know. Everett's coming to town. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, two weeks from today, Blues Bash number two, C.D. Woodbury at CCR in Snohomish. You asked for it. You got it. Two Blues Bashes every month. We got acts booked into summertime here on the second Tuesday, CCR on the fourth Tuesday, 
Music, music, music. Thank you so much. It's because of you we're doing this hard work. Eric's main connection. Y'all are wonderful. Thanks for sending us down there. We appreciate it. Give it, give it up one more time for Eric's main connection. <laughs> Heading to Memphis, Tennessee for the International Blues Challenge. Don't forget to join us here the second Tuesday of February when we'll have Toby Brady. And Dudley Taft. Or go to our 
website, which is BorealiceOnTheRoar.com. And keep an eye on our calendar. Lots of great music here. We do this once a month. We've got a lot of other great stuff. These guys, we're going to get them a date to come back and see us again. So keep an eye on our calendar. We'd love to see you back here. Have a great night, everybody. Get home safe.